So you can see behind me, that's the Nova there on the right and the Silver Muse on the left. Welcome to Seward, Alaska. It is cold and windy today and as you can see the ship right here, boom, the Silver Muse. That is another one of the Silver Sea ships. We're actually in port today with them. And then you can see my ship here on the left, the Silver Nova. At the same time, welcome to our uh, embarkation day. All of the guests left this morning and the new guests are coming on board. Let's go do some check-in. Let's give you some numbers. Uh, the ship here on the right, the Silver Muse, is a smaller ship. My ship here, the Nova on the left, our maximum guest count, I believe is about 740. That's if there's double capacity at each and every cabin. Today's embarkation, we only have about 650 guests, I believe, so we're about 100 short. Um, I'm now going to head into the terminal. I'm going to show you basically the embarkation process a little bit because I do have to work so I'm going to cheat and show you a little bit of behind the scenes on how uh, the guests embark here in the town of Seward. This is the terminal where they line up. This is the desk where I work at, checking people in. They fill out this health questionnaire first. These are the sweet keys that we have to give them to get into their cabins. Uh, lots of them. The computer we use to check them in, one by one, couple by couple. This is the system that we use as well. Security photo, click, click. And then off they go to board the Silver Sea Nova ship. Welcome on board. This is the front entrance to the terminal and welcome to some beautiful mountains and time to go explore the town of Seward. Now apparently there is a shuttle bus bringing uh, a crew and or guests into the town but it's about a 20 minute walk so I've decided to take a stroll and get some fresh air. So you can see behind me that's the Nova there on the right and the Silver Muse on the left. So the guests that just got off the ship completed a seven day Alaska cruise and the guests that are boarding also a seven day. So for the next two and a half to three months, it is seven days up and seven days down between Vancouver, Canada and Seward, Alaska slash Anchorage. So the guests are getting off uh, from this port and actually taking either shuttles uh, or trains up to Anchorage, which is the large city a little bit further to the north here uh, And that's where they catch the airport coming into Anchorage and leaving Anchorage all the guests are obviously doing their own things I'm doing trains some you know private transportation, but that's the route that we're taking seven day Alaska up and down Gee, I wonder if they do any fishing here That's a lot of fishing boats Welcome to the town.
This building here is the Alaska Sea Life Center. Well, that definitely looks like an avalanche. It's not very often that it's sunny in clear skies here in Seward, Alaska, so I want to show you some of the views from the top of the ship. We don't often see these mountain peaks like today. It is nice and clear for sure.